Hey guys, it's Mandy. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you happen to have a dolly or a crafting channel of your own, let me know um, down in the comments so that I can find your channel and get subscribed to you as well. Um, we have a bit of a topic here today, and I am going to talk to you guys about cuddle babies. Um, I think I've done maybe a video on my cuddle baby collection before, but it has changed a little bit, so I thought I would do an updated uh, cuddle baby collection with you guys. Um, now, if you're curious about what a cuddle baby is, if you're not familiar with that term, um, let me explain. So cuddle babies are, let's use my little violet here as an example. So cuddle babies are a reborn. They are a reborn. Um, their uh, head is vinyl um, and the head will be painted and done by an artist, just like a regular Reborn. Um, this little girl right here is the Andy Sculpt by Linda Murray. And she was reborn by uh, Kelly Newcomb from Garden of Eden. Let me take her little pacifier out. So, you know, she is, when you're looking at her head, she's a typical Reborn. She's got her beautiful blue kind of almost lavender blue eyes. I love her eyes. Um, she's been painted. She's a little baldy. She's got weight in her head. Her head is weighted really well. Um, but the difference is a cuddle baby will have a body that is just cloth. See how squishy her little limbs are. So it is a full cloth body that is jointed, um, which means that, you know, you can move their arms up and down, you can move their legs up and down, and they've got, you know, and of course they've got the cloth body in the center, and an artist will weigh them much in the same way that they will add weight to a typical reborn. So in the feet, there's the glass, the fine glass beads are in the feet. And then further up, there's polyfill. Hands are the same way. Fine glass beads in the hand. And then polyfill going up. And the body is a combination of, you know, glass beads for weight and polyfill. Um, if you are curious in making your own cuddle baby, if you have a head and maybe your body got damaged, you can always turn a, f a regular um, reborn into a cuddle baby. So if your limbs have been damaged or if you maybe don't like the limbs, which I actually do have a cuddle baby in my collection, that that was the case, you can go on to McPherson's or Bountiful Baby or even um, Etsy or eBay, and you can buy a cuddle body. You'll just need to know what size that you will want. Um, Violet here is um, pretty much a perfect zero to three size cuddle baby. And what's nice is um, on Etsy, you can even buy a pre-weighted cuddle body if you're unfamiliar with how to do that. And there's different forms of bodies for cuddle babies. Um, this girl right here, I think, has a bountiful baby cuddle body, but I'm not entirely sure about that. Um, there's Reggie bodies, which are kind of thinner and more poseable. Um, there's all different kinds of, of there's uh, Irresistibles cuddle bodies. Um, but yeah, um, do some research, try to figure out what kind of cuddle body you want. I think I have different kinds of bodies here in my own little collection. Um, but I do have a baby that I, t I have two babies that I actually turned into cuddle babies and those are my two boys and I'm going to show them you here in a minute. But anyway, this is, uh, Violet. 
She's Andy by Linda Murray, and she was reborn by Kelly Newcomb of Garden of Eden, and she is about a zero to three cuddle baby. And then we've got my very first cuddle baby that I ever had. Let me just kind of switch my hands around here. This sweet little girl right here is Feyre. Feyre was my very first cuddle baby, and I believe she was actually my second reborn that I ever had um, after Luke. And she is the Dominic Asleep by Bountiful Baby, and she was reborn by um, Marie Huda of Marie's Reborn Nursery. She's on Reborns.com. She is kind of like halfway between a um, a, a newborn, like a large newborn, and a zero to three. She's pretty long. Um, here's her feet down here. And one of the really great things about cuddle babies is that you can you can store them or display them pretty easily, you know, because their limbs can just curl right up. Um, and my cuddle babies I have are pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, you they can curl right into each other. Um, they can be posed really easily. But there's Feyre. I believe she's on a, um, a McPherson's cuddle body. And then over here, let me take her passy out. This is Nesta. Nesta is Ruby Awake from Bountiful Baby. And this gorgeous little girl was reborn by Deborah Miller of Always Precious and Tiny Reborns. She has such a serious little face. So she is a preemie newborn. She is a little, little girl. And she's wearing a preemie size sleeper right here. Um, and she's, she's pretty good weight too. Um, and I believe she might be on a bountiful baby body. But I'm not 100% sure about that. I adopted her from Anne over at A Colorful Life. Um, but yeah, she's a preemie sized cuddle baby. So you can get... Um, different sizes of cuddle babies. I actually had a really big cuddle baby once who was a um, like a six to nine month size cuddle baby and I might have that baby again one day. Um, the person that the friend that adopted her from me um, is gonna send her back one day but she's been going through some stuff so it will probably take a little while to get her back and that's fine but when I get her back one day I will show her to you guys um, but yeah there are big cuddle babies but she is a little preemie right here and so next to her you guys now some of you might remember this little guy if you've been with my channel for a really long time you might know who this little guy is and if you're a fairly new subscriber um, you may not know who he is so this is Stephen Awake from Bountiful Baby, and this particular particular <laughs> little guy was reborn by um, Amanda Martinez of Cradle of Wildflowers. And the reason why you guys haven't seen him in a long time is um, his varnish was really not working for me. Um, his varnish was very, very kind of sticky. Um, which is fine, and um, it was meant to look as if he had lots and lots of little baby hairs all over his face. And some people really enjoy that, and nothing wrong with that. But for me, um, my animals were really attracted to that varnish, and they wanted to, like, lick and nom on him. And he actually lost one of his limbs because of Dio. And that's when he got turned into a cuddle baby. And then I wanted to get his head revarnished with something that wasn't so sticky. So my friend that's learning to reborn, she took his head a few months ago and she finally had time to get him revarnished and now he's not as sticky. You can still kind of feel the texture of the little baby hairs, but he's not as sticky anymore. But isn't he beautiful? He has blue eyes, like blue gray eyes. And he's meant to look like a, um, a biracial baby. He's got beautiful painted hair. Look at his painted hair. It is amazing. Look at all these baby hairs, these fine baby hairs around his temples and going down 
um, in front of his ears. He's got beautiful hand-rooted eyelashes. And look at his sweet complexion. Look at his mouth. He has got a beautiful complexion. And um, I originally had a different name for this baby. And I decided to rename him. And I have decided to rename this little guy. I'm actually going to call him Steve or Stevie. Um, his name, his actual kit name is Steven, but I just think the name Steve or Stevie is really cute. And there's also a character on um, Stranger Things that I love named Steve. So I figured it would be fine. He's so cute. Um, now he is on a borrowed body. I am going to have to get this little guy his own body. He's on Baby Yoda's body, you guys. <laughs> Baby Yoda is a cuddle baby, and he has he is on Baby Yoda's body. So eventually he is going to get his own cuddle body. And he's a newborn, but he also can fit into 0 to 3 as well. And then last but not least is, oh my gosh, sweet little baby Kaizen. He is my only cuddle baby that has rooted hair. Look at this gorgeous hair. He's got a full, full head full of kind of this chestnut hair. He is gorgeous. So he is Ryan from Bountiful Baby. And he was also a, um, he was a three-fourth limb baby when I got him. He's from Kelly at Garden of Eden. And I did not like his limbs. And it wasn't anything the artist did. It was that the sculpt itself had really blocky kind of square hands and feet. And I was having so much trouble bonding with him because I hated his limbs so much. So I decided to turn him into a cuddle baby. And it worked out perfect. Um, he is actually a amazing little cuddle baby um, and I love him he's one of my comfort babies um, I reach for him a lot when I need comfort look at that sweet little face he's got little let me lift his head up a little bit he's got little scratch marks he's got beautiful rooted lashes he's got the sweetest little mouth he doesn't have a chin he's got kind of he's kind of like a no chin baby <laughs> but that's Kaizen and he uh, was named by my husband after a video game character that he had. That's one of my husband's favorite babies. But yeah, there's my cuddle babies. They are all so sweet. And if you have never tried a cuddle baby before, you guys, you absolutely should try one. Unless you know that it is just not your cup of tea. <laughs> okay, guys, before we go on... Let's do our question. Let's do our reborn baby giveaway question for this video. This is video number one in which you have to give me an answer. There'll be three total over the next three videos, and this is number one. All right, you guys. <laughs> I want you, this would be a good test to find out whether you watch my videos or not. <laughs> I want you to tell me the name of my baby, my reborn, that is your favorite. Um, there's no wrong answer because I love all of them. But, yeah, tell me who your favorite is. I know... I know the baby, or rather the toddler, that I think is going to get the most answers, but, but I'm curious, especially for those of you who have been with me for a while, um, let me know which of my Reborns is your favorite. Um, so, okay guys, I know that's kind of a tricky question, because if you're new, you may not know what to say, but, you know, go back and, and, and watch some videos, and... And, and look at some babies and learn their names. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and go. So, again, cuddle babies, you guys. Um, it, it's the cure for what ails you, I'm telling you. It's just if you are having a down day, there's just nothing like a cuddle baby. They are, they are such good 
Cuddle Buddies. I love them so much. They are some of my very favorite Reborns. So, goodbye from Violet and Feyre and Nesta and Steve and Kaizen. And we will see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, take care. Bye bye.